Hi, my name is Sydney, and it was recently my two-year wedding anniversary. Except I'm not married anymore. What's crazy is I went the entire day, didn't even realize that that's what the day was until almost midnight when I checked my Snapchat and was like, oh, my memory is reminding me of things I don't want to be reminded of. Perfect. But seeing those memories and having pretty much no reaction was actually the best thing that could have happened because I realized that I truly am over my ex. So today I want to talk about that and how I got over him and all that stuff. First thing you need to know is there is absolutely no timeline for when you should be over your ex or how quickly you did get over them. Every situation is going to be different, especially depending on how close you were, how long the relationship was. Obviously for me, I was married, so that's like very intimate relationship. One of the first things that genuinely helped me was accepting that it was over. There's gonna be a time period where it's just strictly grief and you feel depressed or maybe you feel relieved or maybe you have like a spike of happiness because it's like, oh, I'm free or whatever or maybe it's just depression right away. It doesn't matter. The first thing you need to do is accept that it's over, clarify that it's over and that there's no chance of getting back together. For me, I think I held on to the idea of potentially getting back together for a very long time and it took my ex actually moving on for me to accept that it's a done deal. After he had already moved on, it's like, okay, I can't just keep holding on to this person. I can't keep hoping for change or for us to get back together or anything like that. Like, I have to let go. I was actually almost completely alone at the beginning of my separation, and I would not recommend this, which is why I ended up moving to Texas so quickly after the separation because I needed to be around friends, around support, people who totally had my back and my best interest at heart. So that's when I moved to Texas, and being around friends helped a lot. Distraction aren't the end-all be-all solution but it definitely helps at the beginning of a breakup to just stay as busy as you possibly can work new hobbies hanging out with friends anything you can do to not just be in bed and depressed all day i actually spent a lot of time just laying in bed when i was first living in texas and i actually gained like a pretty good amount of weight i've never really been one to gain weight before and so that was like really hard for me to accept that on top of a breakup like that i was gaining weight but then it triggered me to start a little fitness journey so i guess there's a positive i definitely would recommend not spending so much time on social media when you get on social media there's going to be people who have opinions on your breakup you might see stuff that your ex is posting stuff if you have friends who are posting with your ex i don't know the situation that was a situation that was happening for me and it was extremely difficult. So I kind of just had to mute everyone. Don't be afraid to put yourself first. Unfollow your ex, first of all. Unfollow anyone who's gonna be posting with them all the time or just mute them on everything because it is not worth just having those feelings randomly pop up. So once you can get through the grief stage and the acceptance stage, it's now time to focus on yourself and move on. And I don't mean get another significant other. I just mean fully let this person go. One thing that really helped me was identifying where I personally was went wrong in the relationship. So often we want to be quick to just blame the other person and of course if a relationship fails both people had to be doing something wrong because it takes two people to make a relationship work. And so I identified what I did wrong and I focused on fixing those things about myself. I tried to listen to where my ex was maybe getting mad at me and wishing that I was different and seeing if that was something that was an issue within myself and if I needed to fix myself in that aspect. Now not everything that your ex says about you is true but you can still recognize in a relationship where you were going wrong and doing things maybe you shouldn't have how you can apply that to your next relationship and be a better girlfriend wife or whatever next time around if you haven't already deleted literally every single picture or memory that you have with your ex you need to do that because holding on to those things is like holding hope for you to get back together. <sighs> the day I deleted everything off of my phone and threw away all the pictures, all that kind of stuff was one of the more difficult days of getting over my relationship, but it was also one of the best days because I was finally able to like let so much go that I didn't even realize I was holding on to. In your breakup situation, you need someone you can confide in that is 100% on your side, is willing to be honest with you, is willing to be there for you, and this might end up being professional help. I did have some great people in my life, but I also ended up going to therapy for a little bit. I think it really helped to get a professional's opinion on the situation and to just help with a lot of like other deep-seated issues that I had that maybe had come out in my failed relationship and how I could better myself. Sometimes you need to professional to be like hey this is where things are going wrong with you and let's work on that for me my therapist ended up telling me that i had a lot of ptsd from 
from just a lot of different situations and I don't need to get into that here it's a personal thing but we worked through so much and I think it really did help me become a better person now I can't sit here and make a video about how I got over a breakup became a better person whatever without mentioning God I was really really struggling to let go for a while until I finally just gave everything to God I don't know how many of you are Christian and it might seem like a scary or out there thing But relying on God literally saved my life I was going through so many ups and downs of depression not being able to get over my relationship all this different stuff And being able to have someone who always has my best interest always has my back Jesus literally saved me and I would not have been able to get over the breakup so quick and and fully over it and healed without Jesus because he can literally heal you and fix things for you. It's crazy. <laughs> I would also recommend like really not checking up on this person. I know that might sound like bad, but don't go look at their social media. Don't text them. Don't ask their friends how they're doing. You really need to separate yourself completely from this person if you actually want to get over it. If it is actually done, it's time for you to move on. And the next step would be to completely focus on yourself, of course. We're talking fitness, new hobbies, exploring new income routes, um, making new friends, getting out of your comfort zone, doing things you never thought you could do because you were so comfortable in your relationship. Go do those things, like go do what you've wanted to do. As tempting as it may be, now is not the time to start bad habits. Um, whether this is like more like serious issues or even just like little bad habits This is not the time to do that The sooner you can get your life back on track and get back into a routine and focus on yourself The quicker you're gonna get over your ex the better you're gonna feel and you're not gonna look back at this time in your life with like all these regrets I also think this is a good time to throw in. This is not the time to use someone else to get over your ex. It's not fair to another human being to lead someone on or to use them just for the sole purpose of filling that need that you had for a relationship or trying to shove it in your ex's face that, oh look, I moved on. It's not worth it. Do not move on until you are over this person. It's important to remind yourself that the world doesn't end and your life isn't over. Even though it may feel like it and seem like it, you still have so much life to live so much success to be able to still happen so many opportunities you haven't even been given yet and the potential to find love with someone else who will love you for who you are won't expect you to change won't have all these issues now it is also important to recognize that every relationship is gonna have issues but this relationship is done and it's over and you just need to be looking towards the future also give yourself the benefit of the doubt give yourself some extra time it's gonna hurt for a while and that's okay there's always those things in life that there's literally nothing you can do. It just sucks. And sometimes you just have to let it suck and you just have to let it hurt. <laughs> this is such a big one. You need to forgive your ex and you need to forgive yourself. No matter what happened that made this relationship end, if you're holding on to guilt, hate, holding a grudge, either against yourself or your ex, you have to forgive them. Forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's not allowing the other person to continue to hurt you or anything like that. It's for yourself. It's about letting go. You have to forgive this person. And this doesn't need to be like a text, like, hey, I forgive you. Like in your heart, in your heart, you have to genuinely forgive this person and yourself. It's also okay to remember all the good. You don't have to only remember the bad, but it's also important to remember the bad. So you need a really good balance of remembering what made it end remembering the bad and the hardships but also remembering that you did have good memories with this person and this person used to be important in your life and they'll always have a little spot in your heart because you spent all this time with them and that's okay people come and go all the time and the sooner that we can accept that we can't force everyone to stay with us and everyone to love us and like us the better off we'll be your mindset has a lot to do with it too and sometimes you just have to convince yourself that you're okay and kind of fake it till you make it um maybe read some good self-help books read you know, whatever's gonna make you feel good. Don't dwell and listen to sad music and watch sad movies and all that. That is not gonna help yourself. Although it may be tempting to like let yourself just keep being sad, it's really not worth it. It's honestly giving your ex a lot more power than you need to let them have by letting them live in your brain for so long, just keeping you sad. Now it's okay to be sad for a while, but you need to feel those feelings and then you need to continue on. Life keeps going on and you can't let this little situation, actually it's a pretty big situation, hold you back for the rest of 
of your life. Just think one day, however long off from now, you're gonna look back on the situation and you wanna think I handled that so well. That was such a good learning opportunity. I'm glad I took the time to get to know myself, better myself. I hope this helped a little bit. These are kind of some of the things that I did and it's so awesome being able to hear the name of my ex, be able to talk about my relationship, what I did wrong, where things went wrong and not get all emotional about it. It happened and that's life. You can't always predict life. You can't always predict how people are gonna be or what's gonna go down. So you just kind of have to roll with it sometimes and that's okay. I hope you guys are all doing okay if you're going through a breakup. Drop your tips down below. Drop your story down below. I'll be reading the comments and we can all help each other out. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!